Hi, this is Rob. If you are given the equation of a parabola in the general equation form, also known as the vertex form, and that parabola opens up or down, that is, has the equation that looks like this, y equals a times x minus h squared plus k, with the x squared, then you want to enter that equation using the y equals button. For example, you are given this equation of a parabola and asked to graph it, find the vertex, the focus, the directrix, and the axis of symmetry. y equals x minus 1 squared plus 1. Before you do any graphing on the TID4 plus CE, you should do two things. One, set a standard graphing window, and two, turn off stat plots. To set a standard graphing window, press the zoom button. We want Z standard number six, so press the six button. This graph will pop up. This is the Z standard graph template with a total of 20 tick marks on the Y axis and 20 tick marks on the X axis. The second thing to do is turn off all the stat plots. To do that, press the second button, then the Y equals button, which is also the stat plot button. Number four is to turn stat plots off, and number five is to turn stat plots on. We want number four. Press the four button. Now press the enter button. It says done, which means the stat plots are off. Okay, to graph this parabola, press the y equals button. Enter the equation on y1. Open parentheses. The x is located here. Minus 1, close parentheses, the square button is here, plus 1. Now press the graph button. There is the parabola. To determine the coordinates of the vertex, it is helpful to zoom in on the vertex area of the parabola. We'll zoom in on the vertex using a Z box and the zoom button. Press the zoom button. We want number one, Z box, so press the one button. Move the blinking cursor with the arrow buttons to a place to begin drawing a box around the area that you want to zoom in on. I'm going to move the cursor here and draw a box like this. That way I can include in the box the vertex where the parabola crosses the Y axis and part of the X and Y axis. With the arrow buttons, move the blinking cursor. I'm going to start my box here, so press the Enter button. I'm going to move to the left by pressing the left arrow button. I am drawing the top of my zoom box. Now go down. This is the area I want to zoom in on, so press the Enter button. As a reminder, if you're getting any value from this video, please give it a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. From here, I want to find the vertex of the parabola. So press the second button, then the trace button, which will be the calc button. We want number three, minimum, because when a parabola opens up, the vertex is the lowest point or minimum here. If the parabola opens down, you would choose number four, maximum. So press the number three button for minimum. It is asking for the left bound. We have to use the arrow buttons to move the blinking cursor just to the left where we think the minimum is. Looking at the graph, I think the vertex is at point 1, 1. Use the right arrow button to move the cursor down. About right there. That is just left of x equals 1. Now press the Enter button. Now it is asking for the right bound. Move the cursor just to the right where we think the minimum is. OK, right there. Now press Enter. Now it is asking you to take a guess. Don't guess, just press the Enter button. So the vertex is at x equals 1 and y equals 1, or point 1, comma 1. Often you will see this point 0000 on the x or y value. That is OK, but we can verify this point. From the graph, press the second button, then the trace button, which is also the calc button. We want number one value, so press the one button. It is asking for a x value. 
The x value for the vertex was x equals 1, so enter a 1 and press the enter button. At x equals 1, y equals 1. Another way to find the vertex that might be faster and will also give you the focus and the directrix is by using the Conics app. Press the apps button. We want number 4, Conics. Press the 4 button. And we want number 4, Parabola. So press the 4 button. Our equation is x squared, and the number 2 is x squared, so press the 2 button. Here we need to enter the h, k, and p of the equation. But our equation is written in the vertex form. Vertex form is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. We have the h and k, but we do not have the p. However, we know p is equal to 1 over 4a. a is 1. Thus, p equals 1 fourth, or 0.25. h is 1, enter. k is 1, enter. And p is 1 divided by 4, enter. Here it says press alpha solve or graph. Alpha solve will give us the vertex, focus, and directrix. So press the green alpha button, and the solve button is down here. The enter button. There is a green solve above the enter button. Press the enter button. And there is the information. Vertex at 1, 1, focus is at 1, 1.25, and the directrix is at y equals 0.75. Because this is a parabola that opens up or down, to determine the axis of symmetry, use the x value of the vertex. Thus, the axis of symmetry is x equals 1. Using this conic app to graph a parabola is not very good. Press the graph button. This is the graph we get. You cannot adjust it and does not give much information except to indicate that the parabola opens upward. So if you want more flexibility, use the y equals button to graph a parabola. But if you have the equation like this, x equals negative 2 times y plus 1 squared plus 4, and you cannot use the y equals button, because we have a x equals equation. Then you need to use the Conics app to graph it. Okay, that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.